So this is the interior page, which is effectively just, um, you know, uh, without the amenities clutter, a nice showcase. And I'll go through what the components of this page are and then how to edit each. So uh, at the top of the page, we just have this full screen slider, um, which shows a select view photos with a little title overlay. Um, this link will send them to the section of the home page in which they register interest um, and or schedule a tour. So section one is this full screen slider. Moving down the page, section two is uh, a grid gallery where they can just get a more all-encompassing view of the interiors. Section three is uh, a video uh, and they can click this and view the interiors video uh, and then floor plans and pricing, unit walkthrough, video overview, which are pages we'll cover uh, in sequence and in a second tutorial. So first of all, uh, let's cover how to edit the page. So this messy junk will load into a nice layout. So we see that that full screen slider up top is um, just shows portfolios that are categorized uh, within the apartment category. So if we wanted to add something new, uh, we could go to portfolio and here we'll see our existing portfolio items. Um, if I were to look by, uh, these are the ones that are the apartments, but if I wanted to add a new image, all I would have to do is um, click add new to the portfolio let's say I want to add a picture that shows um, you know spacious studios for instance this is just the title that shows up uh, and then as we said it's showing things of the category apartments so I would just click apartments here and then I just need to set the image and that's all that is required so I would click the spacious studios image set featured image and I've done the three things that are necessary to add it. Uh, so that is a title, that is tagging it apartments, and that is adding the featured image. So I'm gonna go ahead and click publish. And I'm going to take us back to that interiors page where we can see that that image is now there. So this is the home page. I'm clicking interiors and we'll see that the first image is now this spacious studios image that we just added. Okay, um, and now for adding things to this section, we just covered how to add to this section, which uh, to re-articulate was going to portfolio, add new portfolio. We just add a title, so let's say um, oversized open concepts and apartments, so title, categorize the portfolio, and then set a featured image. Let's say this for oversized open concepts, publish. And now when I go back to the interiors page, um, we will see that the first image in that full screen slider gallery will be what we just added. So second is the studio we added, and then it goes through, so it's showing uh, in order of date added. Now let's go through how to add to this section down here. Let's discuss how we can make edits to this grid gallery here. So let's say we needed to swap a photo or add an additional. What we would do is hit edit page. Again, we have three sections to the page and we covered the first. So we covered this in the previous tutorial. This time we just have these, uh, they're called team members, but effectively each of these is just an image. So I'm gonna click edit on a given one and we'll see that you have the name and then below it I've put a subtitle and then the link to register interest. Um, say I wanted to change this, I could merely hit X on said image and I could Let's just momentarily put the track in there. Click the track and then hit save changes. After making a change within the visual builder, we're always gonna to wanna to hit update on the right 
and then said change will take effect. So um, I'm going to view the page and we will see that that picture has been replaced with a track. Okay. Now uh, let's go back and let's set it back to what it should be. So I'm going to hit edit. I'm going to hit X on the existing image. And it was the pretty two bedroom layout. So I'm going to click that, set image, save changes, and update after we make any edits. Now let's say that we came with three new pictures and we wanted to add those three new pictures um, what I would do is we see that this is a larger row and then internally we have these three smaller rows. Just click the duplicate icon uh, and we will get a whole new row and let's just add in some fitness center pictures even though we wouldn't do that on the interiors page. Um, so I'm going to hit set image, save, going to the second box. I'm going to delete what's there, hit set image, and save, and I'm going to the third box, and I'm going to hit, um, whoops, I'm going to hit set image, and save. Then after doing that, we're always going to hit update. Let's go ahead and view the page now. So you see these are the three photos I just added in. Let's say I wanted to title them something differently. You could always do that in one fluid step, but uh, we see, let's say this is, it's under the name. So demo title one, save. Demo title two, save. And demo title three, save going to always hit update after making an edit on page. I'm going to go ahead and view this page so we can see that those changes took effect. And we see demo title one, two, and three. Now let's go ahead and delete out this row. We talked about adding the new row by merely cloning one of the others. We can do the same to delete this row and I will hit update. And we see now the fitness center row has been deleted. 